We think maybe they could put some stabilizers on these things. You know, I've always wanted to make science fiction, but you usually can't because yeah, it's just expensive. Ah, how am I going to pay for this? And how am I going to get this set? And how am I going to create this monster? This is the base structure for my Drakian. So I made this decision to just do it, to go for it. I would just find a way. If no one would do it with me, I'd find a way to just build everything myself. To get some certifiably insane, I think. I wish I was 22. Yeah. A few hours away. There's my car, right there, that uh, has all the camera equipment in it. A lot of people go, I need this person, I need this person, I need this person to make this happen. And I said, no, I already know everybody I need to know to make this. Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, three days from shooting. And uh, John McClay and I are feverishly trying to finish the shuttle. I have so many friends that are great artists and writers and directors and editors, and costume designers and, and makeup. I knew these people. They're amazing. I've worked with them for years. George Shaw, my composer, is uh, recording a live orchestra. So, um... Once they read the script and saw the project, they were like, oh my gosh, this is awesome. And then it was the collaborative process of, of building these worlds. So, Andrew just punched me right in the face. Like he said, the framing wasn't right. He just, I don't know, he just hit me, man. I don't know what happened. Your job as a director is to keep everybody up, which was incredibly hard work. That'll play so great, especially when we're on this side. Many, many a moment of going, this is nuts, this isn't gonna work. I burned my thumb. I have not slept in days, I'm exhausted. Everything in me wants to just quit. I just wrapped day one, and uh, I am uh, just picking up all the chairs and tables and bringing them to our location for tomorrow. I'm a little tired, but just gonna keep going. And then you just power through it and just keep going. That's what you do. This is a chance for me to actually show people the tone. Give them a glimpse. But it doesn't matter how flashy or cool something looks. If you don't care about the characters, you're dead in the water. Who are you? So I was rolling through my head, uh, okay, well, what hasn't been done in science fiction before? That was fun. Mm. Thank you, doctor. No one's ever done medics. No one's ever done doctors. This combat medic breaking the rules to go save this soldier who had been left behind. And it just sort of hit me. I'm like, this is like MASH in deep space by way of like Guardians of the Galaxy. You know, this is a story about heroes. They just don't fire guns. They save people. What's your name, by the way? Lauren McFall, right, who's amazing. It was actually really hard casting Scout because I need Wonder Woman, but by way of Wolverine. Ugh, I needed a badass, but still completely be feminine. That's a hard balance. How many rounds do you have left? And Lauren just killed it. Uh, not enough. And the one and only Taj Spades. He was jazzed, he was so excited when he got the costume. And then a few explosions, died a little bit. And I guess he won't be the only one dying alone today. <laughs> You're so dumb. I think you made him cry. It was a good afternoon. John Asher, who played Asher. I've known John for years. He's just a, he's a really good friend of mine. And John's a, he's a very talented director. He has made a number of films over the years and he always calls me and puts me in them. So I thought, well, I've got to put John in my movie too. Which was a great call because aside from being a good director, John's a phenomenal actor. Very funny. I'll tell him I forced you. Everyone knows you're a pacifist. It was really important for me that the audience really believed that Doc and Ash knew each other for a long time. And it turned out so great. I was very lucky. What are you doing? Pretty sure I'm getting fired. It's so great when you have an actor who's also a director because they know where the camera is and they get all the chaos. And there was chaos. When Ray and I shoot movies, if I don't cause him to bleed, I will not feel like I have blessed my movie. Quiet, everybody. We're doing our final take. One of the hardest things with science fiction is world building. How do you world build, especially with original material, quickly? I'm gonna be cutting this one close. 
I made this whole thing for a $10,000 production budget. That's not possible. There's a lot of stuff you can pull off. If you know what you're doing and know the way to shoot it. You can dial it in any color you want. Perfect. There's gonna be stumbling blocks. There's gonna be things that come in life that make you trip or make you fall. Get up. You've got one day. It's this one. If you spend your whole life waiting for someone to give you the opportunity to do something, you might be waiting forever. You've got friends, just go for it and create it. Just make something. I wanna tell stories for the next 20 years and if I'm lucky enough to be able to do that, I'm gonna give it everything I've got. <sighs> Movie making. Yeah, this would have been absolutely impossible without every single one of you. Thank you all, seriously. Love you.